Hey everybody, I'm so happy to have you guys back on the channel where we talk about everything feminine, including music, media, and news. What's up y'all, I'm back again with another video. Today is not really about the tea, it's just a discussion type of video I guess because this really isn't news. It's not really new and it's kind of old, but I still wanted to bring it to my platform to discuss as well as a subscriber wanted me to talk about it, so here we go. In this video, we're going to be talking about Megan James' horrible plastic surgery and then we're going to discuss how Dream Doll's butt shots nearly took her out this world to meet her maker. Okay, so Megan James is now a household name. Everybody know Megan James from Bad Girls Club. She's been on a few other shows, but most of us know her for getting down with two girls at one time. Two girls at the same time dang time on Bad Girls Club season nine. Well, Megan isn't a stranger to plastic surgery and she's very open about it. She's had her boobs done, her butt done, and a number of facial surgeries and enhancements as well. But when she showed up at Sweetie's PLT launch party last month, you couldn't tell if it was Megan, Morgan, Martha, Madonna, Medusa, Mufasa. We didn't know who the hell this was showing up at this party. Like this right here is not the Megan we have grown to know and love. This is not that cute valley girl voice, but I'll beat your ass, Megan. This looks like a completely different person to me. Now, for me, in my own opinion, I'm not really for plastic surgery, although my opinion may change one day, but I do believe in doing what you wanna do when you wanna do it, regardless of what people have to say. And I understand there's pressure in the industry and we all have things we're insecure about and wanna change, but you've got to know where to stop. You've got to know what not to touch and I don't believe Megan should have touched her face. But she did go live to explain what's going on with her jaw and chin area. So this is what she had to say. Good morning, you guys. So let me, y'all been coming for me in the comments. Talking about my chin is too pointy. All y'all been calling me grim, grim and chin and all type of shit. So let me cut. <clears throat> So there you have it with that. Good thing for Megan is that those fillers aren't permanent, so this will hopefully be a learning lesson for Meg. I never saw anything wrong with her face to begin with, but you know, it's her face and her body, and she can do what she wants. But on the other hand, things were much more serious for another bad girl, Tabitha, aka Dream Doll, who I think has more popularity from being an Instagram influencer and now a rapper and she was on Love and Hip Hop, but she did start on Bad Girls Club season 16. She was that one blonde haired girl that kicked Kaylee in the back and got sent home. Yeah, that was Dream Doll. So Dream Doll already had the butt shots before. 
And she explained why she started modifying her body in an interview with VH1. I was in a relationship where my boyfriend used to criticize my body and he used to, he was cheating on me with a girl that, you know, had, had curves. And he made my self-esteem go down and he made me feel, he made me feel ugly. I always wanted to give him, you know, what he wanted and I always wanted to, to, to look perfect. It didn't complete me. It made more people make fun of me. It just made, made people, you know, violate me on Instagram more. People criticize me. Oh, my body's fake, I'm plastic. I get called names worse than what I was being called by him. When I did my surgery, I came back home and I was the same person. For all the women, don't get surgery because of somebody else. It's not gonna make you happy. I'm telling you, surgery only attract the wrong guys. They only want you for your looks. She went to Columbia to get a BBL, but she didn't have enough stomach fat to get the procedure done. Because you know, a BBL is when they perform liposuction on your stomach and then they take that excess fat and put it in your butt. So she just ended up opting for the butt shots, which is illegal in the United States. And she got so sick that she nearly lost her life. She explained all of this in a mukbang collaboration that she did with Be Love's Life. I did a, um, a fat transfer mm -hmm. and same thing with you, I didn't have enough fat. Mm -hmm. So. I literally had a flat stomach, but I felt like I had the same size butt. Mm -hmm. So I went and I got um, shots and then oh. almost died. That's what they said. It's not that good. I literally, this year, I almost died. I got sick. Um, I, it started like rejecting from my skin. It was what? the worst. It was the worst experience of my life, and I literally had my doctor save me. He's in Colombia. I was in um, pain. It was red. It was warm. It was hard, and I had to get it removed. Like I was sick. You don't know exactly what they're putting in you, but I actually had got a biopsy. I got that done, and it was um, actually silicone. Oh. But I removed it. Like my butt is 100% mine, even though it was so big still. But I did another fat transfer. This is why I went wrong. When I removed when I removed my um my shots this year, I was scared because I'm like, okay, they about to remove this. I had a for flat, flat, flat butt. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what it would look like. So it was like either you get implants or you could get um you could get the you or we could just leave it. Or you get the fat transfer. So I'm like, just put the fat transfer because I had gained literally like for it took me almost two years to gain that weight. Like I wanted to gain weight because I know I wanted to get another light bulb. Right. But I gained the weight to get the surgery done. I did the fat transfer. Um, and now I'm great. Wow. Literally great. I literally, I just went back because I had a little bit in my leg still. Mm -hmm. and, and they took it out because the thing is that it drops. It's going to keep dropping. It's just um, poison. Like that is not, it's poison in your body. So as you can see, Dream Doll had a really bad experience with getting butt shots and she had to go and get all of that removed. It had traveled down into her legs. She had to go back and get that removed. And then once all that was said and done, her body was not how she wanted it still. And she had to get the fat transfer to her butt so that it can look all, you know, how she wants it. So, I mean, of course, I feel like people more so know now. I'm not sure when Dream Doll got her butt shots done. It had to be years ago because now everybody knows you do not get butt shots, okay? That is not the way to go. But thankfully, Dream Doll is still here today. I think she's a cute girl, and I'm happy that she did come out with that VH1 interview and tell girls like, hey, if you want to get your body done, do it for yourself and not these men, not your partner or whoever you're with. No, do it for yourself if that's really what you want to do. So I give her props for that. Anyways, let this serve as a secondhand lesson to y'all. If you want to enhance your body with surgery, please make sure you do it right and don't go overboard. Luckily, Megan's will wear off and Dream Doll is still here today to tell her story. I never saw nothing wrong with either one of them, but like I said, it's their body, not mine. So how do you guys feel about what happened to these two girls and what are your views on plastic surgery as a whole? Let's have a discussion below in the comments. I really wanna know your opinion. Like the video cause it's good for your edges and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And that's it for today. I'm going to see you guys in the next one.